Hello. OK, we're going to look at how to put pipes into a building without using the Systems tab. This is very complicated and um, you need to really know what you're doing before you start getting in here. One of the easy ways to put indicative runs for pipes is just simply to use a from the massing and site tab in place mass and you create in place masses but before we go there let's just set the model up okay we're going to be using reference planes in 3D it's greyed out you can't use that tool so you need to set this thing up in 2D for starters so any of the floor plans will do and I'm going to put a pipe coming up and roughly going through the middle of my building um, just to show you how we can do this and then I might uh, try and do, go around some corners okay so now notice in 2D the reference plane is open so click on reference plane I'm just going to draw a reference plane through the middle of the building that's a 3D line looking straight down we're looking down at at the moment now escape escape reselect and give it a name um, center center line long axis you can call that whatever you like but it's good to stick a name on it now when I select it center line long is showing while we're doing this I will put another reference plane going sideways and again escape twice reselect give it a name and call it um, WC pipes short axis so naming conventions might apply in what you're doing but for now this is just indicative one of the things you might want to do at this point is alter your 3D view maybe duplicate the view so right clicking on 3D view say duplicate view and in that copied view let's rename it again there's 3D section box so there section box is ticked on can't see it in this model I've just remembered that I have set this up so you can't see the section box I'm just going to unhide it so we can see it again now the reason I've done this is so I can grab this handle and push into the building I may have pushed it a little too far grabbing all of these handles is relatively tricky wait till it says control and then pull it out a bit the reason I want to do that is because now I'm going to set what work plane I wish to create a pipe on. Now first I'm going to use this long axis work plane so I'm going to say set name a plane this is why you name them if you don't name them they don't show up in this list long axis OK that and I'm going to write put show on there that turns it on that's just indicative on off OK so anything now that I create will be in this vertical plane now okay so let's create our first object let's go to massing and site in place mass I'm going to call it long axis pipe okay now you see this is greyed out a little bit oh sorry change this not to draw on face but to draw on plane set set placement level 
Something to long axis. There we go. So I did that twice. Um, I kind of forgot that. Yeah, you, you wait until you're inside this move, uh, this drawing move before you set what plane you're working on. That's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna use my line tool to draw a line. Comes along. Comes up. Comes along. It's down. Hit escape. It's finish. Okay, so you can see my line highlighted there. So that's going to be the path that my pipe will follow. I then use one of these point elements and don't grab the end of the line because it makes things tricky. I'm going to click a point on there. And there she, it is. Right there. Now, if I... What this does is it gives me a little work plane to work on. So I can now draw so all I did was select the dot before I drew that circle. Okay. Undo, undo, undo. I'm going to do that again slowly. Point element. Click it to the line. Hit escape. Reselect that point element. That gives us a temporary work plane to draw on hit the circle command and that draws our line. You can see the dimension of the, the pipe there. Um, let's call it 100 for now. So that's going to be a 200mm pipe. Okay, escape out of the circle command but don't escape too far. Now I'm going to select my circle and then holding control I'm going to select my line. Now this allows me to create a solid form along there. Brilliant. There's our pipe. If I escape and select the pipe, now notice it's just selecting single elements, so I'm going to tab through until I'm just pressing the tab button on the keyboard, top left, two under the escape button, so I can select the whole thing. Now at the moment that was like a default um, material that won't show up particularly well in renders. So I've selected it and you can see here material by category. If I click into there there's a little dot 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 blue icon. Now I can set the material to be whatever I want. Um, let's see whether I've got anything just white in here. That'll do. Uh, U H M W white. Right, got a white pipe. Okay, if I want to now draw my other pipe that's running across here, I simply change set. Not actually, I'm going to finish that mass mass. So that is one pipe because. I want to change where my view is. I'm going to pull this out. My scope box. I'm going to push this in just inside the walls. Okay. Now, same again. So that pipe that you can see is four is running there. Now for the purposes of this I'm not going to be too neat. Is the the slower you go, the neater you can be. Um, specific dimensions you can apply. Okay, same again. Massing and sight. In place mass. I'm going to call this uh, pipe WC. Okay, again, go to my set the work plane. And in this drop down here, WC pipes. And there you go. I can now draw a line in this axis. So first off I'm going to 
maybe align with the floor. Come up 1.8 meters, go across here. Down again. Hit escape to finish. Use my point element to select a point on there. Escape. Reselect. With that point selected, draw a circle. Save again. 100. Hit escape twice. Select the line using my control. Select the circle. So I selected the circle before and then the line. Doesn't matter which way around you do it. Hit create form, solid form. Escape, escape twice. Use my tab to select the whole of the pipe. Material by category. Click in there. Click that little dot. Double click the white again. Finish the mass. There you go. As you can see, the two pipes don't hit each other so I can make a minor tweak to this I'll amend this here I could however just change where the work plane is for this and it would drag everything along and over but I'm going to show you the other way to do it so I'm going to select the object I want to edit edit in place select the form using my tab button to make sure I'm selecting the whole form and then dissolve now I can just drag this line over it's in line like that and I'll drag this up to the midpoint there I have to select the circle again now, obviously, my, I should have gone in and sliced the whole building off. But as I've only got a circle for a profile and a long line, I can just select across everything. And you see I'm, I'm grabbing all elements. Create a form, a solid form. That brings my pipe back. Tab through, select, go back into the material because it's undone that material selection double click on that white tick to finish so that's neating that up nicely okay so I hope that helps thank you